In software development, the way you manage and store your project is important. Developers have been discussing two main terms, monorepo and polypo. Monorepo is a unified repository where multiple projects, libraries, and services are stored together. On the flip side, polypo or multi-repo stands for multiple repositories. Each project has its own space and own repo. But the question is, which approach is better? Is it more efficient to keep everything under one roof? Or should you maintain clear boundaries with Polyrepo? Hey everyone, Rajiv Vera here and today in this video I will try to explain what exactly is Monorepo and how it's different from Polyrepo and which one you should use. But first, let's try to understand what exactly is Monorepo and why the companies like Google, Facebook, Microsoft are using it. At its core, Monorepo is a unified repository that houses multiple projects. This setup allows easy code sharing streamlining development, and ensuring consistency. But what makes developer attracted toward Monorepo? Let's start with the pros. Simplified dependency management. With all projects under one roof, managing and updating dependencies becomes super easy. Easier refactoring. Changes across multiple projects? No worries. Monorepo makes it seamless to refactor code across the board. And let's not forget unified versioning. All your projects evolve together. It helps in maintaining a consistent versioning system. But here's the thing, every silver lining has a cloud. Monoripos comes with a set of challenges. And one of the biggest challenges is size. And here, tooling can become complex. Since you are juggling multiple projects and you might need some special tools to deal with this. I've already covered Monoripo tools in a separate video, link in the description. But despite these challenges, Monoripo remain a popular choice among developers. And now let's talk about Polyrepo or Multirepo and why many big companies like Amazon, Netflix are using it. Basically, Polyrepo or Multirepo is a strategy where each project gets its own dedicated repo. This ensures clear boundaries for each project. It allows them to stand tall and independent. Polyrepo has its own appeal and here is why developers are using it. First, independence. Changes made in one repo does not cast shadow on others. And next, you enjoy the flexibility. With separate repositories, you will feel to pick tools and languages that suit best for each project. And now let's talk about control. Polyrepo gives you full control over access permissions. It ensures only the right people can enter in the building. And now let me highlight two bottlenecks of Polyrepo. First, dependency management. Keeping track and updating dependency among different repos is not always easy. And second, making cross-project changes. It's like traveling to different cities with huge time. And finally, managing multiple repos require diligence and attention to details. Polyrepo is a top choice for those who value project independence and straightforward permissions. Now, when to choose which? Now, let's dive into some practical scenarios to help you decide which repo strategy suits your needs. First up, Monorepo. Imagine you have a large team and everyone working on an interlist project. And every team member has to collaborate with other developers. For organizations that lean towards a more uniform approach, where streamlined operations take priority over the flexibility. Monorepos shine. It's like having all the eggs in one basket, but with productive lead. On the flip side, we have a polyrepo or multi-repo. Let's say you are juggling with different projects and each project has its own technology stack. It's like building with different set of Lego pieces. Each project has its own set of blocks. In these cases, polyrepo is your best bet. It's like one dedicated room for one project and there's no unwanted interference. If every project you're handling has its own timeline, release dates, and updates, a Polyrepo setup can offer more freedom. Now I will turn it over to you. Which strategy you're using, Polyrepo or Multirepo? Leave a comment down below, and thanks for watching.